Hi Wanderers! Welcome back to Jog My Memory. This video is looking at urban settlements for Grade 12 Geography. Urban settlements are basically the towns or cities where your secondary and tertiary activities take place. But there are many reasons for the location of your urban settlements. So the sites of your urban areas are chosen due to the following factors. Availability of water, better soil, rock structure, relief, transport and trade, and human factors. There are different types of urban settlements. These include central places, trade and transport towns or cities, and your specialized towns or cities. Let's look at your central places. These are your small towns supplying your urban goods and services to your surrounding rural areas. You have your low order goods and service, which includes things that you need often, such as your bread, milk, and healthcare facilities. It includes a smaller threshold population and there are several shops and services. Your high order goods and service includes things that you don't need or need less often, such as your TV. However, they have a larger threshold population with fewer shops or services. Your trade and transport towns or cities develop where your transport routes meet. These include your bulk, your break of bulk, which are your transport changes, your junction, which is the intersection of two main transport routes, and the gap, which is the point of access at physical barriers. Your specialized towns or cities develop because of one main function in the area. To remember this, use the acronym CRIME. C for commuter, R for resort, I for industrial, M for mining, and E for education. Let's look at your urban profile. This is basically a view of the urban area from the side, looking like the side view of a person's face. So looking at the city from the center towards the outskirts, you will see a decrease in the height and density of buildings due to the decrease in land value as you move away from the center of the city. Your land value is higher in the center of the city due to your high demands and decreases as you move away from the city. Your urban street patterns include the grid iron. This is where the roads intersect at right angles forming rectangular blocks. This is found in the CBD or all the cities. Your advantages include that it's easy to find your way around. Land can be divided up easily and can be converted into one-way streets. This decreases your traffic congestion. There are shorter distances to travel and there's a little wastage of land. However, the disadvantages include traffic congestion, more accidents because of the in intersections, and it's monotonous, quite boring. The next street pattern is radial. This is where the road spread out from a central point, similar to a spider's web. It's found in very old cities, such as Paris in Europe and Kimberley in South Africa. Advantages include that it's easier flow of traffic and all roads lead to a central point in town. The disadvantage is that there are traffic jams which are very common and traffic is relatively slow. Also, space is wasted. Your plant irregular pattern is where the roads have few intersections and tend to curve a lot. It is found in your modern cities and newer suburbs. Advantages include is that it improves the flow of traffic and roads are quieter because there are fewer intersections and less traffic. It's interesting because your suburb layout has unexpected turns in the road and it accommodates the nature of topography. Its disadvantage is that it is easy to get lost. It is not easy to subdivide or expand. Your last pattern is your unplanned irregular. There is no clear design or plan in these roads. It's typical of your informal settlements. Advantages is that it's one of a kind. Disadvantages include traffic congestion, unplanned and you can get lost very easily. 
Now let's move on to your urban land use zones. These are basically the areas which has features that define its function. Let's look at a few examples. CBD. This is basically in the centers, set in the city center and has the highest land values. Your transition zone is a zone of mixed and changing land use and it is often a zone of decay. Your light industry is often near the CBD or in planned industrial estates. Your heavy industry is found on the outskirts of the city where land is cheapest. You have your middle to high income residential. This is found away from the CBD and often has a good view. Your low income residential is where your buildings are very close together, but it's close to the business area. Your informal settlements are found on the city outskirts and often have no service delivery. Your green belt is where there are no buildings in this area. It is used for your public gardens, parks and sports fields. And lastly, your rural urban fringe. It is your mixed land use with both rural and urban functions. Just to recap, we've looked at the types of urban settlements, your urban profile along with the street patterns and different land use zones. The reference I used was Mind the Gap Geography Study Guide for Grade 12. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my YouTube page. Thank you for watching. Don't forget you can always send me an email at jogmymemory at gmail.com. Keep jogging your memory and keep wandering with me. Thank you.